Welcome back. Hello again, it's me, Taylor. Let's dive even deeper into the world of human biology. In our biology journey, we're studying body systems, which are made of organs, which are made of tissues, which are made of cells. In this lesson, we'll explore another human body system, the musculoskeletal system. Your musculoskeletal system is all of your bones and the muscles attached to them. Today, we will learn how our bodies move, how different muscles are used throughout our bodies, how our bones are built, and how to keep our muscles and bones healthy. If you are following along in your guided notes, pause this video to jot down your current best thinking about how our bodies move. Some people consider our skeleton and muscles two separate body systems, and that's certainly reasonable, but we're going to discuss them as one system, the musculoskeletal system, because their locations, work, and purposes are so closely connected. The musculoskeletal system serves several vital purposes for us humans. Perhaps the primary purpose is to allow us to move. Without this system of muscles and bones, we couldn't move at all. This body system also provides form, support, and stability for our body. The overall shape of our bodies is largely formed by bones. Bones, particularly the ribs, also protect vital organs deeper inside our bodies. Bones also store important nutrients, calcium and phosphorus. We'll dive deeper into this later on in the video. Muscles also help heat our bodies. As muscles use energy, they naturally produce heat, providing about 85% of the heat required for our bodies to function. As muscles work, this heat is spread throughout the body via blood. The bones, the muscles on the bones, and the bits that hold these parts together make up this musculoskeletal system. To better understand how these pieces work together, let's dive into how each part of this system is built. First, let's unpack muscles. Our bodies are built from three different types of muscle, smooth, cardiac, and skeletal. Muscles are all made of muscle tissue, which itself is made of different types of muscle cells. Smooth muscles line the walls of hollow internal organs, like the stomach, bladder, and even blood vessels. These muscles are not under our conscious control. Our bodies move these muscles without us thinking about it, which is a very good thing. Smooth muscles are generally considered to be parts of the systems in which their organs work, not part of the musculoskeletal system. Where do you think cardiac muscle is found? Does that word sound familiar at all? Cardiac muscle is the very specialized muscle in the walls of the heart. These muscles are responsible for the beating of the heart which pumps blood from the heart to the rest of the body. These are also, thankfully, not under our conscious control. This muscle is generally considered part of the cardiovascular system, not the musculoskeletal system. The last type of muscle is where we'll focus today, skeletal muscle. These are the muscles that are attached to all of our bones. The muscle cells that make up skeletal muscle tissue are often called muscle fibers because they're very long and each contain multiple nuclei. These muscles are under our conscious control. When you decide to move, for example, your leg, your brain sends signals to the appropriate muscles in your leg to contract, meaning the muscle fibers shorten or pull together, causing movement. Muscles then relax back into their normal resting positions. Now onto bones and other bits of the musculoskeletal system. The non-muscle in this body system is mostly made of different types of connective tissue. Many people have the misconception that bones are dead or non-living, but that's not true at all. Bones are living, built of specialized connective tissue that is itself built of living bone cells. Bones are also filled with blood vessels, nerves, and pain receptors. 
This misconception may stem from the fact that compact bone tissue has all these living bits but also contains a matrix of non-living molecules and calcium and phosphorus crystals, which make bones hard and strong. The inside of bones is spongy bone tissue. This tissue is made of the same bone cells as compact bone tissue, but the cells are arranged differently to make spongy bone tissue much less dense than compact bone tissue. In a cavity within spongy bone tissue is bone marrow. Bone marrow contains stem cells which produce red blood cells to continually replenish our blood supply as blood cells die or if blood is lost in an injury. Finally, the entire bone is covered in the periosteum, a tough membrane that produces new bone cells as bone cells die or if a bone breaks. Bones next to each other, like the bones in the arms or legs, need to be connected for body stability, form, and movement. Bones are connected to each other via ligaments. Ligaments are tough, strong bands of fibers made of mostly collagen, a really common protein in our bodies. The space where two bones meet is called a joint. Ligaments usually surround joints, as in the knee or elbow joints. Ligaments keep bones from grinding against each other and help absorb shock as you move. For movement to be possible, not only do some bones need to be connected, but skeletal muscles have to be connected to the bones. Tendons are the physical connection between bones and muscles. Just like ligaments, tendons are tough, strong bands of fibers made of mostly collagen protein. When you decide to move, your tendons move your bones along with your muscles, while your ligaments move neighboring bones with each other. We couldn't move without the musculoskeletal system, so it's very important to keep this system healthy. Proper nutrition is the first step to keeping both skeletal muscles and bones healthy. Muscles are built of protein, so eating protein-rich foods like almonds, meats like chicken and fish, and beans is necessary for your body to build and keep muscle. Bones require calcium and other minerals to remain strong and not breakable. Calcium-rich foods include tofu, leafy green veggies, beans, milk, and in some areas, even tap water. For our bodies to absorb calcium, we need vitamin D. We can intake vitamin D by being out in the sun or from foods like salmon, tuna, and eggs. Keeping active on a daily basis also helps keep bones and muscles strong. Some weight or resistance training damages muscles, which actually leads to stronger muscles when your body repairs them. This muscle repair mostly happens when we sleep, so rest and a good night's sleep are vital to a healthy musculoskeletal system. Bones are also helped by a healthy body weight. A healthy body weight is the weight of your body when you eat nutritious foods anytime you're hungry and when you're active. If you're doing these things, your current weight is perfect and healthy. Finally, smoking, alcohol, and unprescribed drugs can all leach nutrients from bones, making them weaker and more brittle. To conclude, let's check in with our learning objectives. Did we learn what we aim to learn? how our bodies move, how different muscles are used throughout our bodies, how our bones are built, how to keep our muscles and bones healthy. If you're following along in your guided notes, pause this video to jot down your thoughts on these concepts. How do our bodies move? Our bodies move when our brain sends a signal to one or more muscles. This signal causes those muscle fibers to contract or shorten. Skeletal muscles are connected to bones via tendons, so when muscle fibers shorten, the attached bones move. Bones are connected to neighboring bones by tendons, allowing the movement of one bone to move another bone. How are different muscles used throughout our bodies? Our bodies are built of three types of muscle, smooth, cardiac, and skeletal. Smooth muscle lines the walls of hollow internal organs like the stomach, bladder, and even blood vessels. 
cardiac muscle is only found in the heart and pumps blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Skeletal muscle is attached to bones and allows our body to move. How are our bones built? Our bones are built of different types of bone cells that form different types of connective tissue. From outside to inside, bones are a tough outer membrane, super hard compact bone, spongy bone tissue, and bone marrow. Bones are also innervated with blood vessels, nerves, and pain receptors. How can we keep our muscles and bones healthy? Eating nutrient-rich foods, being active on a daily basis, including weight or resistance training, sleeping well, maintaining a healthy body weight, and totally avoiding alcohol, smoking, and unprescribed drugs all work together to make a healthy musculoskeletal system. Huzzah! We are learning things. In future lessons, we'll continue to unpack more body systems. Now, go assess and expand your learning with the practice questions. And remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.